That was a few seconds of the Gods in Shackles, a new multi-award winning documentary that hopes to do for elephants what the 2013 documentary Blackfish did to expose the torment of killer whales. Gods in Shackles examines the plight of so-called temple elephants and other elephants used in hundreds of Indian festivals that according to filmmaker Sangeeta Iyer are being exploited for profit under the guise of culture and religion. Canada's own Sangeeta Iyer is the producer and director of the United Nations nominated documentary Gods and Shackles. Congratulations, Sangeeta, and welcome. Thank you, Brad. Nice to be back. It's been, I think, about three years since you and I last spoke when you conceived making this film at the time you were talking about it. Can you tell us what originally compelled you to undertake this challenge? Absolutely. I was in India in December of 2013, and I visited some of the temples, and I was appalled to witness the uh, wounds and uh, the way they were treated, you know, made to walk beneath the scorching sun, uh, deprived of their basic necessities of life, no food, no water, and people were just so um, overly concerned about the uh, religious and cultural, um, uh, you know, beliefs that they completely did not even consider uh, the welfare of these incredibly intelligent animals. In and other words, they were using the elephants as props for these cultural and religious uh, festivals. Tell us a little bit about the, the experience of making this documentary. It was quite um, emotional to begin with because there were a lot of objections and people tried to block our cameras because obviously they didn't want what was going on in the backside to be exposed. and. Uh, but at the end of the day, we did what we had to. We gathered about 200 hours of footage, and um, most of it was uh, edited here, produced here in Canada with a lot of uh, Canadian support and writers and uh, uh, editors working with me on this, uh, especially our Discovery Channel Canada, former Discovery Channel Canada mm -hmm. president, Paul Lewis, um, uh, essentially supporting and so it was a great experience but at the same time very very deeply emotional. You've recently returned from a whirlwind 45-day trip to India to launch Gods in Chackles. What reaction did people have after seeing this film? I was amazed uh, especially uh, when we launched this in Kerala um, the Speaker of the Kerala Legislative Assembly, he welcomed me with open arms and screened it on a historic basis. It's never happened before. It was screened on the legislature's grounds. So that was very, very humbling. Uh, and then we screened it in about 12 different cities. And the reactions have been amazingly uh, receptive in the sense they acknowledge that there is a serious issue and just earlier this month the chief minister of Kerala actually watched the documentary and it has been just a month since I returned and they are already making sweeping changes because they have a new government now and it seemed like everything fell into place at the perfect time I launched Ooh. it in June and the new minister or the new uh, government came to state government came to power in June and so uh, the reception has been overwhelming. Uh, I've got more questions than I have time, unfortunately. Sangeet, I want to finally ask you, where can we see Gods and Shackles? Well, at the moment, it is not available for public screening yet. Uh, we are organizing community screenings, so there are a couple of uh, screenings in Baltimore and uh, Los Angeles, as well as there's going to be a screening here in Toronto at the Comfus Film Festivals festival uh, happening in October uh, and people can actually watch some of the clips on the Indiegogo campaign Indiegogo slash project slash gods and shackles dot com. Well congratulations once again on the making of this terrific documentary producer and director of the United Nations nominated documentary Gods in Shackles. Sangeeta Iyer good to see you again my friend. Thank you so much great to see you too.